Hi, I'm Michael. Hi, I'm Isaiah. And we are back with a brand new maths game. Now, to play this game, you need five counters for each player in different colours, a 10 sided dice that's 0 to 9, and a 1 to 120 chart. Um, you can easily print this off from the internet. You'll be able to find one, no troubles. Now, the aim of the game is we're, we're going to start off by putting our counters on the board. The aim of the game is to be the first player to get your five counters off the board. Now, uh, the only rule for placing your counters is they have to go on numbers larger than 20. Um, we'll explain the rules in a second, but Isaiah, do you want to start? You place a counter first. So remember, Isaiah, we're trying to think of? Good numbers. Good numbers. Um, I... 64. I'm going to do 30. Okay, now to play, we're going to take it in turns rolling the dice. Now, because Isaiah put his counter down first, I'm going to roll first. And if the number, well, let's see, if we get a three, we're now looking for skip counting by three numbers or multiples of three. Okay, now I know the multiples of three, right? So I know that the first one is 21 that, that has a counter on it. So Isaiah, you get to take 21 off. Yay. So it doesn't matter that I rolled it. If the first multiple or the first skip counting number with a counter belongs to the other player, they take it off. All right, roll Isaiah. You still get to get if it's yours. Yeah, yeah. I can knock off either colour. Okay, now Isaiah, do you know the... You, you're you going to do some skip counting now, yeah, to check? Yeah, okay. um, I only know the first two. Okay, so go. Six, twelve... Um, there's 12. 18. 24. Okay, you get another one off. So Isaiah's got two off. Okay, one. So obviously the first one is 22, yeah? Because we just count all of them. So I get that off. Your turn, Isaiah. Now, play continues like this. Pause for a second. We'll still count that roll. Play continues like this until someone's got all their counters off and that person is the winner. Now, there is one other rule, but we'll wait till it comes up. All right, Isaiah, can you do the skip counting by five? Is it the zero rule? It is the zero rule. No, no, you go five. Oh, yeah, five. Do the skip counting by fives. Um, five, 10, 15, 20, 25. That's dad's. All right, my turn. Zero. Excellent. This is what we wanted to show. Now. Okay, what happens if you roll a zero, Isaiah? You can move one of your counters to whatever number you want. Whatever number you want, so long as there's not another counter on the number and so it's got to be do, large. So you can't do that. No, nah, and it can't be, it's got to be larger than 20. So I'm going to take my, because I rolled a zero, I'm going to take my 27 and I'm going to move it to 24. Uh -huh. Alright, your turn, Isaiah. Two. All right, count for me. Um, or do you need to count, or you know this one? Um, I need to count. Go. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four. That's dads. That's what I just moved. All right, my turn. I go eight. Now I don't need to count. I know that that's a multiple of eight. No, Daddy's gonna win. All right, your turn. Four, four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty, twenty-four. Stop, bub. Great counting. Do you want me to help you out? Yeah. Just to speed up for the video. So it's going to go, that's not a multiple of four, that's not a multiple of four, but 64 is. Yee. All right, my turn. And I got one, and I say that means? That he wins. Okay, so that's Skip County Bingo. Now, it is a sort of game that really rewards itself for playing time and time again. So what I would say is once you've had one game, take the counters off and start again putting them on. Obviously, Isaiah, where you put your counters is very important, isn't it? 
Yeah. So you've got to try and work out what are the good numbers to put them on. Now, the other thing that's really cool about this game is you can play it as a three-player game. If you play as three-player, I would recommend three. get three counters each. So you'd have, if we had a third person, we would have, you know, one person being green, one person being blue, one person being yellow, and you could just play again. Ah, uh, that's Skip County Bingo. We hope you enjoy it. And we'll see you next time. Bye. 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 Do you want to play again? Thank mm -hmm. you.